Wow, what the hell? That is... I don't know what to say about that kind of tile screen, but... Hey guys, Waller D here, we're back for another installment of 8 Bittery, and this game is Monster Party, and I just apparently came upon this game while I was looking through some uh, wonderful lists, just to indicate which games are notoriously bad. And they said to try this game out, even though they do believe it was pretty bad. I'm pretty sure you can probably find something upon this, but this game looks a little interesting, but it's really fucking creeping me out already, but I better get started anyway. Freaking have these freaking crazy ass monsters in the background trying to scare the shit out of you. Mark was walking home from a ball game. He looked up and what? Saw a bright star that came down, crashed on his head, and killed him instantly. Oh, no, maybe not. Well, he stirred at it. The star got bigger and bigger. Uh oh. Wait, game, I wasn't being serious. For oh shit. Um, the beauty of the star made his eyes moist. So he did not, didn't notice. What, didn't notice the man sneaking up behind him and possibly trying to kill him? That the star fell and landed right. What? In front? Oh, what? Okay, so it almost hit him in the head. Holy shit, what the fuck is this? It wasn't a star, but a monster. Mark quickly asked. What the fuck are you? Who? Uh, kind of like that. Who are you? I'm Bert. Wait, what? You're Bert? How the hell is a... Is this the same Bert from Sesame Street? Or is this Bert the fucking gargoyle? What's up? Wow, this kid is hip. I'm looking for... Help. Evil monsters are out of control. In my world. Oh, Okay, come and help me. Um, you know, there, there. I'm pretty sure there's some life lessons here where you don't get, you don't accept help from strange monster-like fucking creatures that came from space. What the hell? Mark, follow that logic, damn it. I'm afraid to fight the evil monsters. Well, that's a good way to start. You're saying that you don't want to go with them because you're fucking afraid of evil monsters. I would be too, probably. Don't worry. With your weapon, um, this is a bat. I'm pretty sure bats are not very effective against monsters. The last time I checked, magic spells, swords, spears, axes, yeah, that sort of thing. And nice, uh, job on the fucking period there, game. This isn't a weapon. This is a bat. A baseball bat. But it can be used as a weapon, possibly by the Mafia. Bat. Better. Anything is okay. Wow, so, um... So apparently this monster does not know what weapons look like, and this boy is trying to not accept this guy's offer. Fuck! No! He kidnapped Mark! Oh my god, what's your name? Mark? Mark, my planet is... What planet? Um, okay. You know what's gonna kinda suck here? Or, you know what I'm starting to fall... Fail to see here? Mark is a little boy. This monster is like... Hmm, I should probably fucking get, uh, you know... An action hero or a guy that's a military trained professional, but I'm getting this little boy and taking him to my planet, which he could possibly not be able to brave on. And yeah, so we must act together. Uh huh. How? Like this. Then they form to fuse together. <laughs> they fuse together into what? Do 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 do. What the hell is going on? Round one start. Wow, this game is so fucking bizarre already. I've s I had four minutes of talking on the freaking intro. So yes, Mark is your main character, and wow, that is the most awesome duck animation. Oh wow, with crawling action, and that tree over there is winking. What you? Fi what the fuck? Oh, wow, this game has brawl tactics or smash brawl tactics where you can fast fall. That is pretty sweet. Unfortunately, Mark can't do this thing called, um... Frickin' hit enemies. Wow, that was a very... Exaggerated explosion. So we have these... 
flaming laser guys, which I can apparently bat enemy. What the fuck? Now I'm beating someone's ass. Okay, this is new. Hello, baby. Um. Mmm. Okay, this game is actually not that bad off the start. I don't know if anything is really interesting with the logic. Mmm. I mean, I'm actually somewhat impressed already. At least, damn. Hit. Mmm. Beat. Come on. Though it is really fucking bizarre, I will tell that. Tell you that. Mmm. Ow, fucking hell. Damn it. Damn it. Mark, stop getting your ass kicked. And, wow, this guy takes a ton of hits. Come on, asshole. Mmm. Oh shit. Fuck. Good thing for that ducking. Mm. Dude, you can start dying now, damn. You would think your bubbles would hurt a little bit more than just one damage to you, too. Fucking hell. Fuck, that was dumb. Okay, so this boss is pretty generic once you figure out what to do, but... Jeez. Don't make me come over there and kick your ass. Damn it, Mark, you need to hit some frickin' line drives, dumbass. Not some fly balls over the frickin' enemy's head. Over here. Mm. Okay, this guy's pretty random. Oh, damn it. Line drives, damn it. Shit. Okay, I'm just gonna get in your face. How about that? I like the system with the, uh, frickin' returning ball or returning projectiles to the enemy kind of thing. And I liked how there's some physics to it, but at the same time, I do not like how this boss is taking, like, fucking 20,000 hits to kill. And it doesn't help my eye, that depth perception is a little bit low, because my frickin' right eye is stinging like hell. That's what happens when you have dry eyes. You have to frickin' put some clear eyes in it so you don't get fucked up. You know you can fucking hit- Damn it! Mark, you need to fucking kill this guy, and you need to kill him fast. You know what? I'm about to fucking beat your ass if this keeps up any longer. Apparently beating is the leading cause of death- Oh, there we go. What the hell is this? Wow, just points. Nope, no pipe logic here. So I apparently just kicked some fucking plant's ass. That's kind of cool. And he called... I don't know why the hell he called me a baby. Fucking dick! Didn't know Ninja could throw shit behind him now. Hold on a moment. My eyes are really fucking bothering me. Just a second. Alright, my death and perception will increase now because I can actually fucking see on my right eye. Oh, fucking ninjas. What's in here? Empty. Huh. Well, I'm so glad that the fucking blank vastness of this room was able to fart the word empty out of his mouth. I do not understand that. Well, why aren't you a... Oh, more hearts. You're not such a dick. Yeah. And I really don't understand this whole thing going on with these... I don't know if these are legs or something else, but they keep giving me hearts, so I'm not complaining that much. Mmm, beat, beat, yeah. So yeah, this game is really different. It's certainly I have this I certainly do like how quirky it is. But and the graphics are okay, granted, but it's really bizarre of a game. Oh, sorry, I dead. I'm dead. Okay. You don't seem that dead. Okay, that was weird. I beat Are you serious? I if that's a horse, I'm gonna be really pissed off. That's all I'm gonna say. Game trying to make a funny little joke there. Whoa, fucking hell. But that was a really weird fucking room. Okay, we still got more of these damn... I don't know what the fuck to call these guys, but they're really annoying. And they give me health. The hell? Uh... Um... Okay, this got really damn creepy. Everything was all heart stars and horseshoes, now it's fucking death and hell surrounding me. That's... That's wonderful. And now we have... The fuck? Okay, the music got all creepy. What the... Oh, do not be playing this game with me, game. It's like, oh, here, here's something you can pick up. So it looks like Monster Party just got went into monster hell all of a sudden, so... Damn. And the music got all creepy, and now freaking walking eyes. Or at least eyes with tentacles. Fuck you. Mm. Looks like that freaking monster, that Burt guy, 
had the right idea picking Mark, because he's doing a good... Please don't pick on me. Oh, shit. Damn it. <clears throat> Damn it. This boss is, like, really annoying. Okay. Ow. Dude. Lay off the fucking projectiles and shit. Fuck. Mmm. Damn. This guy's, like, serious business. Definitely not like the plant. Fuck. Mmm. Bitch. Come here. Mark's gonna fucking teach you a lesson. And I'm dead. No! And what happens? Continue. Get in. So, if you die, you get a game over. Where do I start? Ah, oh, damn it. Fucking at the beginning. That's gonna kind of ruin the game a little bit. Because I'm kind of liking the ch some of the charm, but at the same time, I really... And yeah, I'm not gonna go in that door again. I fucking killed that guy, and there's no reason to kill him again. Fucking hell. Guys need to maybe give me some health so I can survive my next encounter with that fucking jack-o'-lantern asshole. Reminds me of Ichabod Clay in every way. Really creepily reminds me of him. Empty. Great. Leaving. Even better. Dick. Beat. But yeah, this game is not horrible. I do like some aspects of it. Well, I am not liking... I mean, for one thing, the physics with the bat logic is very nice. That's like one of the best parts so far. Like, you can hit back projectiles through the enemies. That's amazing. Because that would require quite a bit of coding, I would imagine, or at least programming to deal with. Dick. Hmm. You actually have to physically beat this fucker. Wow. The hell? Okay, I turned into... Oh, snap. Turned into fucking Bert. Yeah! Okay, that's fucking sweet. And, of course, creepy assness. Do I stay for... Do I stay as Bert forever, or do I have to... F and you can fucking shoot lasers while crouching. Fuck yes. Yeah! It's weird that I had to beat a fucking dead enemy to... ...that actually announced that he was dead, too. To... Oh, no! 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 Not limited! Not limited time with Bert! Come on! Fucking permanent time with Bert! I kinda like his ass! Uh, fuck. Cause I kinda won't be able to... Damn it! Now I'm back to fucking boring-ass kid with stick! Damn it! Fucking hate this guy. This guy is like fucking Mega Man logic. Mmm! About to just fucking constantly beat your ass. And I'm probably gonna die most likely. And dead I am. Wow, this guy is a total dick. Alright, I'm gonna try to see if I can get to the end of round one. One last time will, won't hurt. Love how. But this game. Wow, that's actually pretty fucking powerful. Liking that. Frickin' Mark's little weapon of choice is doing wonders with the killing of the enemies, honestly. I mean, you can use it up closer to frick. Apparently, knocking back projectiles is even stronger. Fuck yes. Okay, so this game. I don't know what to say. It's really, really bizarre. But it's really, really charming in the way of. Oh god, what is this? Or transferring to Mark? Fuck yes. So if you apparently pick up a pill, Mark transforms into Bert, and allows Bert to do whatever the fuck he pleases for like the next three to five minutes. More like three minutes. Which is fine, honestly. I mean, having Mark or Bert as your character the whole damn time would be pretty fucking broken. <coughs> I mean, the whole laser logic, the fact that the lasers come out quickly, and there's a bit more range than said bat logic. Oh, well, guess what? Sorry, I did. Hmm, it's funny that you can't... I like how this game certainly seems well-programmed. Oh, that just was points. Fucking random, random item BS. So the question mark's just random item. Makes sense. Kinda nice that I was able to stumble upon the whole mark, the whole mark changes into Bert thing. And more health wouldn't hurt. 
Oh boy, creepy fucking change to dark, dark hellish like atmosphere. And I'm gonna just say fuck that door that leads me to that frickin' Ichabod Clay look like. Cause I don't think I'm gonna do much with it. Okay, more points. Creepy, fester like dog face man. <laughs> I swear, this is the part of the game that reminds me of frickin' Jekyll and Hyde. Fuck that game. I probably had to play that game soon for you guys. It's like, hey, this game totally sucks balls, cause this is what happens. Okay, skipping Ichabod Clay House, see what else I can find out besides the fact that tr plant life has ugly, ugly faces. I'm gonna just call these guys the ugly stick tree. Fuck that. Death pits. No ninja like guy, you could just jump into the bit pit and die, but no, you don't seem that obligated to do that. Creepy hand sticking out of the ground. Empty, thank you. Ooh, empty with. Points. Okay, I'll take that. God, this place is really fucking eerie now. <clears throat> it's like fucking Nightmare on Elm Street creepy. I mean, like, when it was good creepy. Oh, shit. Fuck your laser. Empty again. Okay, looks like a lot of these people just decided to move out. I would probably move out, too, if I was living in a place like this. Okay, this... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I have to fucking kill the Ichapod clay guy. Damn it. Because it looks like I need a key. Whoa, that's a piece of shit. I guess the nice thing about going all the way over here is to go all the way back with more life. Thanks to killing all these wonderfully annoying enemies. Mm. Ow, fucking hands hurt. Okay, well, that makes sense. It did look like there would be painful and everything. Well, this game does seem pretty promising, honestly. I would honestly possibly like to LP this game, or at least check it out a little bit more, see what it's all about. Because, uh... I don't know, I just like what it offers, but at the same time, it's... I can't get over the, some of the weird things that it throws at you. Okay, Ichabod Clay. Please don't pick on me! God, you're such a dick. Hmm, is there any logic that I need to follow here? Dick! Dick! Mmm! Mmm! Man, this guy's annoying. And you have to hit the damn face, too. Which is the worst part, and he can hit you however the fuck he pleases. Alright, I'll... One more hit is all I can take. Shit. Damn it! This guy is like the most par worst part about this game. Fucking nearly impossible to kill him. Well, guys, I think that's a good demonstration of this game, or at least good idea of what you can expect from it. All sorts of weird ass bullshit, but at the same time, slightly charming fun with the game. So I hope you enjoyed this installment of Ape Bittery. Next time, we will explore other wonderful games. I really wonder what the whole continue logic is. Is it passwords? Aw, oh, damn it, it is. Well, try again. And it won't let me go back, will you? Until I say, put in a good password. So, doomed as hell. So, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and adios.